Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of our Wix Studio Basics series. This is basically a series where I show you the basics of Wix Studio. And for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on breakpoints. So desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now I will say if you've missed any of the other videos of this series, in the description below, you will find a link to a playlist that you can check them all out. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Wix Studio editor and to kind of explain what breakpoints are. Breakpoints are basically the different screens that your users can see on your website. So as of right now, when we're editing the website here in this view, you can see that this is the desktop view. And you can see this by, if you go up to the top middle, you can see that the highlighted one is set to desktop. Now next to it, we have two other options. We have tablet and we have mobile. So this kind of gives us a good representation of what our website will look like on the different breakpoints, AKA other devices. Now I do want to note that in some rare cases, you may need to create and customize your breakpoints. So what you can do is press those three dots and you can add breakpoints. I think you can have up to six if I'm not mistaken. So for example, if you need to have another tablet one, maybe we have something set to like 780 or something and we press done and you're gonna see it now puts in one right here. So we have basically two different tablet breakpoints that we can use. Now, of course, you could always come in here and delete one of them if you don't want it. And if we go ahead and set the max one here back up to a thousand, you can kind of see that we've basically set it up to how it was before. Now, another kind of important part of the editor here next to the breakpoints is the editing size. Now the editing size is our current size of our desktop. So you can see our desktop, if we press this three dots, you can see our desktop is set to 1000 pixels. So if we shrink it all the way down, you can see right here at our editing size right there, it now says 1001 because we reached the minimum size of our tablet breakpoint. If we go down to tablet, we can see this one goes up to a thousand, but it doesn't go smaller than 750. However, the editing size you can see is like in the middle, it's set to 760. So it's not gonna get much smaller, but it can go up to a thousand pixels. And then you kind of get the gist with mobile, you can set it up to 750. And I think the smallest is 320. But a very important part of breakpoints here in Wix Studio is everything cascades down. So just as an example, if I go ahead and grab this button over here, that says contact us. And just for fun, we switch the color. You're going to see on all other breakpoints within the editor. So on tablet and mobile, the button has updated. However, Wix Studio does not cascade upwards. So for example, if I go ahead and grab this button here on the mobile breakpoint, and maybe we switch this back to black, then when I go back up to tablet, you're gonna see it is still blue here. And if I go up to desktop, you're gonna see it's still blue here. So basically anything that you do on a smaller breakpoint will not carry over to the breakpoints above it. Now I will say that sometimes even while you're kind of editing these different breakpoints, sometimes you make a design change on one of your smaller breakpoints that you meant to do on desktop. Because again, if you change it here on desktop, then everything will cascade downwards. But if you meant to do it on the breakpoints above it, then you have to repeat your same design steps. And sometimes if it's a lot of design, it can be a little bit annoying. So one thing you can do is let's say you made the change here on mobile. You can right click on this and say, use on all breakpoints. So that means if we go up to the top, go to tablet, and desktop, you're gonna see the background of this button has now changed to black. Now, of course, with anything, there's typically exceptions to that. So for example, if I go ahead and add a random SVG shape to my website, for some reason, if I come down to tablet and I change the color here, you're gonna see a little sign or a little pop-up down here saying all breakpoints have been updated with this change. So that means if I go to mobile, this is gonna be blue. And more importantly, to prove my point, if I go back up to desktop, this is gonna be blue here too, even though it was on desktop set to black originally. Same goes for text. So right here we say, learn how breakpoints work in Wix Studio. However, if I go down to tablet or mobile breakpoint and I change this to say, learn how to use breakpoints 
in Wix Studio. Then you're gonna get the same little pop-up down here in the bottom left saying all breakpoints have been updated. And that means if we go back up to desktop, you're gonna see that the text has updated to the new text. To explain this simply, we basically changed the element because originally the element was set to say, learn how breakpoints work in Wix Studio. However, we have manually changed that to say something else. So we manually changed the element. So it's not a design setting that we're changing on the other breakpoints. We basically changed the element altogether. However, with my example, with the SVG, we are technically editing the design, so I'm not really sure why it doesn't work with SVGs. Maybe that's just an oversight, and I think if I had to make a guess, there's probably already a support ticket out there, and that's probably gonna be fixed at some point. But that is still an important part of today's video. I kind of just wanted to explain that for the most part, everything cascades down, and any changes that you make on these other breakpoints, as far as design goes, for the most part, will not cascade back up. And if you have apps installed like Wix Stores or Pro Galleries, Wix Blogs, Wix Booking, some of these apps sometimes those design settings on other breakpoints cascade upwards too because again it's kind of like you're changing the element for all breakpoints it doesn't always separate your design settings by breakpoints unfortunately but again i do think that is something that they're slowly working on but they just have so many apps to work through but that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video if you all did enjoy please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more work studio content coming out really soon Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.